those of you who are just watching the Knicks and Bucks, and we have to got, dive into what the New York Knicks did tonight. Mm -hmm. They were struggling offensively. They were struggling defensively. They trailed by 21 points, and then the Knicks went on a run 91 to 50. After trailing by 21 points, the Knicks then outscored the Bucks 91 to 50. Let's go ahead and help our viewers, though. Offensively, the Knicks have been pretty good. It's the defense tonight. They finally got some yeah. stops yep. to get out and run. Obviously, we know the Bucks are still banged up a little bit. Drew Holiday coming back. But a Thibodeau team is defensive-minded. We know he's changed a little bit. There's no more four- and five-hour-long practices. But you have to have that defensive presence and show us what you showed us last year wasn't mm -hmm. a fluke. Offensively, G.A., I like what I see, but if we want to take this team serious, it's going to be their defense. Uh, it's a great point. Look, getting Nerlens Noel kind of back now and integrated, he was solid tonight, 13 rebounds off the mm -hmm. bench. Derrick Rose continues to play at an <laughs> extremely high level. And then I like the fact that the last few games, R.J. Barrett has really started to assert himself mm -hmm. offensively, and now he's really kind of figuring it out. It didn't have the greatest shooting night, but he played well. And, and then Julius Randle, I heard uh, Coach Tibbs talking about they need to do a better job of creating easier opportunities for him. And so tonight, 50% from the field, 32 and 12. I, I would say they did a good job with that. want to welcome those of you who just watched the Knicks stun the Milwaukee Bucks. Welcome to Game Time presented by State Farm. That is 3D Dennis Scott. Greg Anthony, I'm Jared Greenberg. We're with you for about the next half an hour as we continue to bounce around on this nine-game Friday night. I, I think that, that this Knicks team showing what they did tonight is kind of the antithesis of what we talked about earlier tonight with Trey Young valuing the 82-game mm -hmm. regular season, not being satisfied with what you did last year and trying to prove you could be even better. Well, you know, the other thing I would say, too, it speaks to that depth. How, how many teams can go on a road against the defending world champion, your starting backcourt, go 4 for 15 and score a combined 12 points, and you can still dominate a game? Right. That speaks to that depth, you know, and, and that was an impressive win. You know, quickly yeah. came off, played well. Derrick Rose drops 23 in this game as well. And so that's the other advantage they have. They understand it's about winning games. And right. on any given right. night, anybody can be that guy, and it's just about making sure we play the right way, their defense getting back on track as well. And we talked about it earlier, th this Eastern Conference, man, man is loaded. I mean, well, look, Cleveland's 5-4. and four. Right. And, and, and yeah. playing tremendous basketball. Th this Eastern Conference this year, with as much uncertainty as we have, like for the first time in forever, it feels like, I have no clue really who's going to end up being the two best teams really don't. when it's all said. I have no clue.